Welcome back once again to Nerdum with J&J, James Charmack here. So today we are doing a figure comparison. We are comparing the three Superman Dark Knight Return figures that I have. Uh, the one on the left is the DC Direct, the one on the right is the Mattel, and the one in the middle is one we are focusing on today, the McFarlane Toys one that I just got. So uh, we'll do the usual review with that one, look at the box, take them out of the box, you know, get a close look at that. We'll compare costumes and insignias and posability and whatnot and see how it goes. Okay, so we have your standard McFarlane Build-A-Figure box or Build whatever box going on there. You know, it's extra large compared to your regular McFarlane box. Uh, that's the parts right over there. That figure right there. Usual stuff going on. You know, the window display right there. Superman on the side. On the back. Get a picture of Batman on top of the horse. It's got 10 million parts, whatever. And the other things that are in the wave. We're going to get those eventually. Superman and the uh, actual logo that they've used for like the on the anniversary books and whatnot and DVD and Blu-ray and back to the front. So uh, let's uh, take them out of the box and take a look at them. Okay, so where to begin? Uh, so we have the three Superman figures. Uh, I do like how all three of them have like the exaggerated, I guess, uh, Superman whoosh, more or less. Two of them have uh, different uh, going towards the, the right and that one has going to the left. Uh, I think that this one most resembles the comic book version of the of the uh, character, you know, more direct as to Frank Miller. I know that they were trying to do it and make it look like... I'm not too keen on that look. I think it's a little more extreme than it looks like, and this is just kind of bland looking. Uh, Suit-wise, uh, that has a more color muter from the comic, uh, or at least the original version was... The colors were a bit muted to it, you know, to give it a more grittier look, less pop culture, less comic book. Uh, this kind of represents more of, you know, a color correction, what they've done with, like, reprints and whatnot. And this is just, you know, standard, I guess. Uh, with the S's, uh, this one seems to be more, the most comic accurate from what I've seen. That one's kind of close. I don't know, you know, I guess they changed it up a little bit. Maybe they couldn't get, you know, full Frank Miller permission to do it exactly, whatever. And this is just kind of, you know, bland itself. Uh, but this one has the S on the back. This is that kind of an old figure, so the cape's kind of worn. No S on the back of his. No S on the back of his. But what I do say is I do like that all of them have that bulk to him. Like, like, you know, that size to him. Like, you know, not like a regular standard Superman, which is kind of thin. It's kind of bulky, kind of, you know, old time strong men so like the boots are the boots are bulky bulky yeah the belt is pretty big on these two anyways a little bit big on that so yeah uh just by looking at i kind of like the middle one a bit more okay so down the line uh the one i like the most is i like the mcfarlane one i think he's a bit more you know poseable than the other two but we'll take a look at the other ones anyway so uh the dc direct one it's had to Kind of turns, doesn't really do anything else. Uh, his arm goes up a little bit, goes down a little bit, all the way around. No bicep rotation, one joint at the elbow, no wrist rotation, no waist rotation. Feet, I mean waist, goes the forward and back, and he has, has knee joints. You know, they're more going for, you know, trying to make it look like a, a statue or a a museum piece more or less so you can just stick it on a shelf whatever anyways Mattel uh, head goes up so far not too far goes down that far all the way around his arm goes up that far all the way around bicep rotation one joint at the elbow and bend back that far bend forward that far rotation at the waist laser apart that far go forward and back that far uh, one joint at the knee and angle pivoting, no back and forth. Or just back and forth. And he has some rotation at the shin. McFarlane, head goes back that far, can go forward and back far, that far. Rot all the way around, tilt, tilt. Got diaphragm bending and the waist rotation, so he can bend back that far, go forward that far, all the way around, of course. Arm has a butterfly hinge, so you just you know bend the arms forward and back, 
all the way around. You can put the arm up that far. The no bicep rotation. One joint at the elbow, wrist forward and back, wrist uh, forward and back, and back and forth. Legs apart that far. Go forward and back that far. Can you know, rotate at the hip? Uh, double joint the knee. No shin rotation, but angle forward and back and forth, and toe ro toe articulation. So he's got them all going on. Let's uh. Get them in like flying poses and see, at least try to get them in a flight, in a flying pose more or less. There's like a famous one that I think is anyways famous, that kind of stands out the most in the book, but we'll see how it goes, see how each one can do it. If I get this one to stand up, of course, because they're always back heavy. Okay, so accessory wise, um, you know, they all come with stuff. Uh, Mattel comes with the uh, kryptonite arrow. Can't find where the end is. And he comes with a build a figure spot. Uh, DC Directy comes with a kryptonite arrow. I don't know where that is. I can't find his the base he has either, which can connect to the other DC Direct uh, Dark Knight Returns figures and actually make like a little diorama. As for uh, McFarlane, he comes with the usual stuff. Uh, Comes with the card, comes with two pairs of hands, uh, one as a fist and one's grabby so he can grab uh, possibly a uh, armored Batman and he comes with the uh, parts for the horse. So yep, the bill of figures will be a horse just go around uh, so Batman can ride him as he does in the finale of the book or the, the last book. So uh, see how that goes, see how that looks eventually. So. Uh, so this is the pose I'm looking for, just I want to see if I can get it close, kind of, it's always stood out to me, so uh, let's get started. So DC Direct is going to be a no, obviously, because uh, he can't, you know, turn his head up and uh, his feet can't really bend in that flight position, so kind of, you know, can't really look full ahead, he's got to look down, so that's a no. Now Mattel's closer, uh, the feet can bend back, the, uh, obviously the the back bend can, you know, help and help, looks a little bit closer, but still the head doesn't turn back f far enough to have him look straight on as he's flying. So it's close, but not quite there. So yeah, if I turn off the lights or whatever, if I paint them all black and just have the red eyes, that's definitely you know going to work for me, right? So obviously the he the way they've done the heads with the McFarlands, like you know, you can see where they're flying now. So that you know helps immensely for me so I think uh, yeah the McFarlane one probably represents uh, the, the Frank Miller art the best the uh, look the aesthetic whatever you want to call it uh, I think when they did a DC direct one there was a quibble you had to make it look close but you couldn't make him look exact and the Mattel it's like yeah we'll just uh, do what we can but uh, yeah I'm glad to have the McFarlane one, looks cool, I dig it a lot, I like, you know, the look on the face, I like the the uh, exaggerated Frank Miller S, looks like the comic obviously, so uh, yeah, looking forward to doing the rest of the wave, looking to see how he looks with the rest of the wave, looks, you know, right now it looks pretty cool, I can't wait to see how he looks against Batman, we'll probably, you know, put him in a pose with the armored Batman we've already done. But, you know, whatever. Anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did like this video. If you did, let me know. Let me know. If you didn't like it, whatever. Uh, hit that like, subscribe, you know, whatever. As I said, we are doing more of the Frank Miller uh, Batman figures coming up. We're gonna build that horse. We're gonna build that Batman. Put the Batman on the horse and see what can do with that. But anyways, thank you guys. We might do a couple more, one or two more comparison videos. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I know we'll probably do one the, with a Robin at least. Anyways, my name is James Sharmack. This has been a nerd with J&J. &J. And until the next time, keep on collecting and happy hunting.